What is up, guys? It's Nick here. Thanks to Blake and Vish for letting us do a MLB video. It's going to be the first MLB video on the channel. I'm here with Lucas today, and we are going to talk about our preseason predictions for how we think the league is going to shape out this year. We're going to start with the American League. Then we're going to move into the National League, and we'll finish with our postseason predictions for this baseball season. So we're going to start with the AL West. And Lucas, what do your standings look like in the AL West for this season? Yeah, so for the AL West, uh, shaping up for Monion a little bit different than last year. I've got Oakland up at the top of the division. They always find a way to be good uh, year in and year out, and I don't think this year will be any exception. And then Houston, they've obviously been the juggernaut of the West in recent years. And I've got them finishing second this year behind uh, the A's. And then in third, my hometown Mariners um, might be a little optimistic, but uh, I think the pieces are starting to come together uh, in Seattle. And I think uh, they'll finish third in the division. Um, fourth, I have uh, the Angels. A lot of people are high on them this year. Um, I'm less high. Uh, obviously, they have the best player in baseball in Mike Trout still. Um, and he'll find ways to win games. But I don't think the pitching staff uh, in Los Angeles is going to be good enough to um, get them a whole lot of wins. Um, and then last place is a pretty easy one, and that's the Texas Rangers. They are not particularly good. Um, Odor is getting old. It looks like they're going to part ways with him, um, and he's kind of that last piece from those uh, good teams of the early 2010s. Um, they're not very good. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so actually the only one I agree with you in this division is the Rangers. My standings look a little different from you. I have Houston on top. I don't like them. They cheated, obviously, but I still think they are the best team in that division, and I do think they're still going to pull out the crown in the West. Next, I actually have the Angels. I like the Angels. I'm one of those guys you were talking about who's high on the Angels this year. Mike Trout, best player in baseball. I'm very confident when I say that, and I really think it's time for him to go, and I think they can maybe get into a wild card spot. Next, I have the Athletics. They're always solid. They're never a bad team. They're never the best team. So, yep, I got them right in the middle of the division. Following that, I have your Mariners down in fourth place. They're not that good. I know you think they can get to third place, but come on, they're not. And obviously, in last place, I have the Texas Rangers. So, yeah, those are our AL West predictions. They're a little different. We'll see how it works out at the end of the season. Now we're going to move on to the AL Central. Lucas, who do you have winning the AL Central? This was a tough one to pick the winner. Uh, I think there's really two teams that pretty much everyone agrees are battling for that top spot, and that's uh, Chicago and Minnesota. I have it going Minnesota with the win, okay. uh, edging out Chicago. I, I think Minnesota could be a 100-win team this year. Chicago, I don't anticipate being too far behind. I have them getting uh, the first wild card. Um, from the American League. That should be a uh, exciting battle there um, in the Midwest. And then third place, I have the Cleveland Indians. Um, so last year with that nickname, and I think they'll be a pretty middling middling team right around 500 and, and middle of the Central. And then the bottom two teams in the Central are going to struggle. And I have it going Kansas City Royals in fourth, uh, followed by the Tigers in fifth. Tigers are you know, four years into that rebuild and mm -hmm. haven't showed a whole lot of signs of life. And I don't think this year is the first year that they will. So this division, I'm a little closer with you. It's not as completely different as the first division was. I agree with you. The Twins or White Sox are obviously going to win this division. They're the two teams at the top. They'll be fighting all season for that top spot. And I also have Minnesota pulling it out. I don't like the White Sox. I'm a Cubs fan, but I do think the Twins will win. And I have the White Sox filed in second place. Now, the only place I'm different with you in this division is I can see the Royals taking third place. I don't think Cleveland is that good. They, they have some good players, but I don't think they're that good. And the Royals, they're, they're someone that can surprise people this year. So I do see the Royals in third place behind the White Sox. Then I have Cleveland. And in the last place, I have the Tigers, who are still in that rebuild phase and still at least a couple years away from doing any damage in this division at all before they move up to any of the playoff spots so that's our al central and now we're going to move on to the last division in the american league which is the al east lucas i mean we know there's a big team at the top of this division but who do you have winning uh there sure is i think probably 99 percent of fans will agree with this as a Mariners fan it hurts me to say but i do have the yankees winning the division i think it's pretty much the 
the clear choice. I mean, they're just stacked on all sides of the baseball. Garrett Cole, uh, Aaron Judge, and then LeMahieu is going to be good again. I mean, they're just going to be a tough team to beat day in, day out. Um, and then the the East gets interesting from there, I would say. Um, I do have mm-hmm. it as the division in the American League with only uh, one team making the playoffs. So I have the, the wild cards coming from the West and the Central. Um, okay. It wouldn't shock me if a second East team gets in. Um, but ultimately, I have the Rays finishing second. They obviously went to the World Series last year. Um, they're still a good team. They lost, in my opinion, probably their best pitcher in, in Blake Snell. Yep. Um, and, but, you know, a Rosarena, if he can be MVP caliber again, that'll help. Third, this is probably where I part ways with most people. I have the Boston Red Sox in third ahead of the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, I think a lot of people like the Blue Jays this year. Um, they've definitely got some pieces. Uh, Ryu was an interesting addition, but I just don't think they're going to be that great. Um, and then with the whole COVID-19 everything, not being able to play at home, is it's going to be a weird season for them, no doubt. And so I have yep. Boston finishing ahead of them. And then uh, fifth place, um, one of the most abysmal franchises in recent years is the Baltimore Orioles um, finishing in last out East. Interesting. So, like you said with the Angels, how you saw a lot of people who are high on them. You said the same thing about the Blue Jays. I'm one of the people who are high on the Blue Jays. But, of course, I have the Yankees winning the AL East. I do not like the Yankees, obviously, because they're just that team in baseball. They're kind of like the Patriots in football. So, I do have them winning the division. But in second place, I have the Toronto Blue Jays. And I really think that they could get hot this year. I really think that they could even take a wild card position. We'll talk about that more later. But next, I have the Red Sox in third. The Rays, who won the World Series, I have them dropping to fourth place this year. Or they didn't win the World Series. They were in the World Series. I have them dropping to fourth place this year, and I just don't see them doing what they did last year, but they could prove me wrong. It's the Rays. They have they have good coach. They have good, interesting pitching styles, and I could see them doing something. And then, of course, in last place, the Orioles. The last place teams in these three divisions, I think we all agreed on because they're not too difficult. They're just not there right now, and they're just not there to make a playoff push right now. So that'll wrap it up for the AL for us. We will talk about the who we think, how the playoffs are going to shape up in that division in the uh, league later. But now we're going to move into the National League and we're going to go through these three divisions. So, Lucas, let's start with the NL West. Give me your standings. This is another uh, two team race. It's going to be the the, uh, the Dodgers and the uh, Padres. I don't think you're going to find anyone that's going to disagree with that. Two absolutely stacked teams. I do have defending World Series champions winning the division. Um, So I've got the Dodgers on top, followed by uh, the Padres. Um, And then there's a mile and a half gap for these bottom three teams that I think the next two teams are San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. They could be battling for that third and fourth spot. I have it going that direction. Um, And then the Rockies, they lost Arenado. Um, the pitching is just not there right now. They still have Charlie Blackman. They still have Trevor Story. Um, for how long, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I don't think they're going to be enough to really propel them, and I have them finishing last in the West. Congratulations, Lucas. You finally got a division correct. That is what I have. So I'll go through it once again, but I do agree with you on all of those. It is a two-team re- race between the Dodgers and the Padres. I have the Dodgers, Padres right behind them. And then there's that gap you were talking about because those teams are very good. And the next teams get to average before you get to the Rockies. So I do have Giants ahead of the Diamondbacks. I do think the Giants will finish third place in that division. Unfortunately, they won't make the playoffs, obviously, because a third team's not making it out of the West. I'm sure two teams will make it out of the West. Then I have the Diamondbacks finishing in fourth. And in last place, I have the Rockies, who are still trying to figure things out over there in Colorado. Now let's move on to my division, my favorite division, the division I watch all the games in, the National League Central. What do you got for me? Uh, This is another tough one. Uh, In my opinion, there's five pretty middling teams in the NL Central, and um, it'll be really interesting to see how it shapes up. I don't anticipate there being a 100-game winner out here. Uh, It's just five sort of average teams, uh, ultimately. Do you think there will even be a 90-game winner in this division? Um, yeah, maybe one or two. I don't think there'll be a 95 game winner though. Okay. Um, I think St. Louis is probably going to win 90 games. They're my winner. 
um, in the Central, followed, in my opinion, pretty closely by uh, the Milwaukee Brewers. I do anticipate a bounce back year from Christian Yelich. It was a weird year last year, obviously, and he certainly didn't live up to expectations. I think he'll get back to being more of the MVP caliber player that he was two seasons ago. Third place, I have your Cubbies. Um, pretty average. They can hit the ball. We'll see if the pitching can do much of anything. Um, and then the Reds and the Pirates rounding out uh, the Central in my X. Okay, so I don't agree with you here. My Cubs, I think they can win the division. And there's, of course, a little bias, but they can hit the ball almost as good as any other team. The pitching will come around. It's going to take a little bit. It might take a month, but that pitching is going to come around. And if they can pitch, they will win a lot of ball games. I don't think there's going to be a 90-game winner in this division. I think the best is going to be 88, 89, maybe 87 games. A lot of teams right in the 80s. So I do think the Cubs can pull it out because they're always there at the end of the year, and they're still going to be there. They're not dropping off yet. They still have the same team that was winning, that was going deep in the playoffs, that won the World Series. They still have a lot of those weapons. And Javi Baez, Ian Happ, those are good players. Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, those are very good players. The pitching's going to come around. They got Jake Arrieta back. He, of course, had not his best season last year. He's not the Cy Young winner he used to be. But if he can be a solid two or three starter, the Cubs can go far. Next, I have the Brewers. I agree with you. They're going to bounce back. And they obviously have a lot of tools there to bounce back. Then I have the Cardinals. They just picked up uh, Nolan Arenado. He used to be my favorite non-Cub in baseball. Not anymore. I can't root for Cardinals players. I just can't find to do it. Then I have the Reds and Pirates like you do. The Reds, they're an interesting team because they could jump to second or third in this division since it's going to be so close. And I think those top four teams all have a chance of finishing, honestly, anywhere in those four positions. The Pirates, they're going to be last place. Unfortunately, they play tough schedule. They have a lot of tough teams they got to go up against, and they're not ready to compete in this division quite yet. Now we'll move on to our final division, the NL East. Yeah, so out East, I have... The Atlanta Braves finishing first place. They've got one of the most um, exciting young teams in baseball right now uh, with Ronald Acuna. Uh, among others, their pitching staff is is young and on the rise, and they've been really good the last couple of years. And I have them uh, winning the East Division, um, followed not too distantly by the New York Mets. Um, they've obviously uh, had high expectations last season and didn't live up to them and the season before that and didn't live up to them but i think uh this will kind of end that broken record um and they'll find a way to pick up more wins this year uh me and lindor is one of the best short stops in the game he's a big addition um the pitching staff got better they're going to be good this year um i have philadelphia in third um okay. i was high on them kind of the last two seasons um and they just didn't live up to the expectations and I don't think that they're going to be particularly great this year um, which is strange to say when they have Bryce Harper and JT Real Muto in my opinion two of the better players in the game but they just haven't gotten it done in recent years um, and then fourth place to have the Washington Nationals um, obviously they won a World Series a couple seasons ago they've sort of been on the downswing um, ever since and I think that streak continues this year um, and then last place, despite their surprise playoff berth last year, I have the Miami Marlins. They're just not – they're not good enough. They traded away all their pieces, and in my opinion, they didn't get enough for most of those pieces. And and even though those young guys that they did acquire in those trades are, are starting to come up now, they're just not top MLB quality talent yet. So, Okay. I agree with you for the most part. There's just one thing I have different. So I do think it's a two-team race in this division. It's the Braves or the Mets. Those are the only teams I see coming out of the NL East on top. And I'm going with the Braves. I've been big on the Braves the last couple of years. I like the Braves. I love watching them. They're a fun team. And I just enjoy watching them play baseball. Then I have the Mets in second place. They're also a solid team. And they could win this division. But it's the Mets. And that's what a lot to say. And... I don't think they're going to pull it out, but they still have a chance of making the playoffs. And third, this is where I differ from you. I have the Nationals. I think the Nationals are going to be third place because I just – I'm not big on the Phillies. 
they have good players, but they don't know how to use those good players. And they just never – they're just not doing it correctly right now. I don't know what's going on there in Philadelphia, but I do see the Nationals getting third place in div- this division. Then I have the Phillies in fourth place. They have Bryce Harper. He's obviously one of the greatest players in the game. He's been slept on the last few years because he's just not playing as the greatest player in the game, but he's still playing like a solid baseball player. And in last place, I'm happy to say I have the Marlins. They knocked my team out of the playoffs last year, 2-0. They swept us in the expanded playoffs. So that was very frustrating to watch. And that was, and then they lost the next round. That was their first time ever losing a series in the playoffs. But I was happy to see them lose. And that is going to wrap up our National League predictions. Now we're going to move on to the postseason where we're going to talk about who is going to move on to the World Series and who will win the World Series this year? Lucas, let's start with the AL. Give me your first round. Give me your wild card game. Yeah, so like I alluded to, I have Chicago and Houston in that wild card game. I do have Houston as the number two wild card this season, um, but I have them coming out ahead of Chicago. I just don't think the White Sox have um, a real ace that can lock down um, that game. And to be honest with you, I don't know if Houston does either, but ultimately they've got the offense, I think, um, to power through, even though Chicago might be better um, over the course of a full 162. Okay. I have two different teams in my wild card game. I'm happy first to say that we are back to the traditional playoffs. I did not like Me the too. expanded playoffs. I'm glad we're back. In my wild card game, you're going to find this interesting is the Angels and the Blue Jays. And a lot of people don't have that or are not even thinking about those two teams being playoff teams this year. But I really like Mike Trout and the Angels, and I really like the Blue Jays. They have a lot of young pieces, and if it all works out for them, they're going to be a really good team, which is why I have the Blue Jays moving on to the divisional series and beating the Angels in the wild card game this season. Now let's move on to the first round in the AL. Give me your top matchup with the one seed and the wild card winner, and then your other matchup. Yeah, first of all, I'd just like to – Add in that you still think Mike Trout's completely winless record in the postseason will continue, uh, which as a Mariners fan makes me quite happy. Um, (laughs) For the first round in the American League, so I've got um, the one seed New York Yankees uh, taking on the Houston Astros. Um, I do think the Yankees will prevail um, probably four games. I think Houston will sneak a win in there at some point. Um, But ultimately, the Yankees with the pitching staff, um, with the – with the bats are, are going to just take it to the Astros. Um, and then the two, three game, I have Oakland at Minnesota. Um, I have Minnesota winning that series. Um, probably four or five games. It could, it could certainly go the distance. Um, I think the Oakland days are probably an underrated team this year as they seem to be year in and year out. Um, but I mm-hmm. do ultimately have the uh, twins coming out victorious. Okay. So, I obviously have the Yankees as my one seed. They'll be facing off against my Blue Jays, who I chose to win the wildcard game. And it's the Yankees. They're probably the best team in the AL. But I love the Blue Jays. I love their talent. And I have them beating the New York Yankees in the divisional round. I really think they can do it. I'm not just saying this. I do think that the Blue Jays, if they play their best baseball, have the weapons to beat the New York Yankees. And I have the Blue Jays moving on to that championship series in the AL. In my other side, I have the Twins playing the Astros. I have the Twins ranked higher than the Astros. And, yes, I have the Twins beating the Astros like you do. I have the Twins moving on to the ALCS because I just think they're the better ball club. And I just think they're going to be victorious over Houston Astros, who I do not like as a baseball team. I also do not like the Yankees. But that is not why I chose the Blue Jays. That is partly why I chose the Twins. The Twins are a good team, and I have them playing the Blue Jays in the ALCS. Lucas, who do you have moving on to the World Series? Yeah, so I've got the New York Yankees taking on the Minnesota Twins. Um, I have the Minnesota Twins coming out over the New York Yankees. Um, I would say this is probably more of a gut feeling and maybe a little bit influenced by my fandom. Um, But I think Minnesota is a really good ball club. Um, Mm -hmm. They are. And I don't anticipate them, you know, sweeping them aside or anything, but if this game can, or if they can get this series to go six or seven games, I think they give themselves a chance, you know, because anything can happen in a game seven yep. situation. And and ultimately, I do have Minnesota coming out and uh, winning the pennant from the American League. Okay, so I have the Toronto Blue Jays 
playing the Twins in the ALCS, and I do not have the Twins going to the World Series. I'm sticking with my Blue Jays. They do have the talent. Nobody's listening. People don't even think they're going to make the playoffs, but I do think the Blue Jays can go to the World Series this year. They have a lot of young players, as I have said, who are very good, and this is the year those stars that a lot of people don't know of that aren't really baseball fans because no one follows the Blue Jays, those stars, you're going to know them after this year. They are good players, and the Blue Jays are a World Series caliber team. I have them going to the World Series, and I'll let you know if I have them winning after we go through our National League side. So, Lucas, in the National League wildcard game, who are your two teams that came out that did not win their division? Yeah, so I've got the New York Yankee, or sorry, New York Mets as the mm -hmm. uh, second wild card, the San Diego Padres as the uh, top wild card spot. Um, I might have the Padres winning that game. Um, I think they'll be able to probably throw Blake Snell out there. I think they'll be able to kind of relax with their record and make sure that Blake Snell is ready to go for that wild card game. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the Mets might be battling for that second wild card spot with a team like Milwaukee um, all the way till the end. And so. Ultimately, I think San Diego is going to have the pitching better set up and, and they'll win that game against the Mets. I have the exact same thing, but I'll go through it again. I have the Mets and the Padres facing off of the wild card game, and I have the Padres winning. This is because the Mets, they, they're not going to win their division. I have the Braves winning that division, as I said in the National League video earlier. So I think the Mets will still be a playoff team, though. They will get enough wins to get that wild card position, and so will the Padres, who are in the Dodgers division. But the Padres are just a better team than the Mets are right now, and the Padres are going to move on to face off in the NLDS. Lucas, give me both of your NLDS matchups. Tell me who you have as the one seed playing against the wild card team, and then give me your other matchup as well. Yes, yeah, so for my ones, I've got the Atlanta Braves. Um, they'll be taking on the Padres. Um, I think the Braves will win that game. Um, like I said, San Diego is going to be able to set up the pitching for that wild card game, but ultimately they're going to have to use Blake Snell um, to win that game. And at that point, um, that opening series, or I guess not opening series, against the Braves becomes a little bit more difficult. And I think the Braves um, can win that series. In my opinion, they'll probably win it in three, in three straight. Okay. Um, and then for my number two versus number three, I've got the Dodgers and the Cardinals. I think the Dodgers might honestly be the best team in the National League, um, but I think they've also potentially have the toughest schedule having to face the Padres okay. so much. Um, and, and I think the Giants will be kind of sleepy good. So I think they've got a tougher schedule, and that's why I've got them as the number two seed, but I do have them um, defeating the Cardinals. I just don't think the Cardinals have the pitching to win um, a three-game set, whereas the Dodgers have you know Clayton Kershaw, Trevor Bauer, um, they'll be able to win that one. I think it's probably four or five games, um, but they'll ultimately come out uh, as a winner. Okay, so I have the Dodgers as my one seed. I think the Dodgers are the best team in National League. You, too, you don't think they'll get as many wins as the Braves, but I think they'll get more. So I have the Dodgers facing off against their division rival Padres in that first round, and I think the Dodgers will come out victorious in that series. They're just such a good team. It it's annoying. They have a huge payroll, which kind of sucks for those smaller ball clubs. But yeah, the Dodgers are going to move on to the NLCS because they're they're the defending World Series champions, and they're going to get back to the NLCS. In my other matchup, I have the Braves and my Cubbies because I have my Cubbies winning the NL Central. But the Braves are the better team, and the Braves are going to unfortunately beat my Cubs. It's going to be a sad day when this happens, but. I've been hot on the Braves for a long time. They're probably my second favorite team in baseball right now. So I'm not too upset. That's the team I'd want to lose to if we're losing to a team in the playoffs. So I have Braves and Dodgers matching up in the NLCS. Um, who is so your I, NLCS matchup? And who do you yeah, have going so to Yeah, so my NLCS series? matchup is the Braves and Dodgers. Um, and on the NL side of things, I've been talking a lot about pitching. And that was kind of to set up mm -hmm. this series right here. Um, so I do have Atlanta being able to uh, defeat the Padres in, in three games, whereas I think um, it's going to take longer for the Dodgers to, to take down the Cardinals. And I think that sets up a huge advantage for the Braves in this series. Um, if the Dodgers don't have a rest of Clayton Kershaw, don't have a rest of Trevor Bauer, um, things get a lot more difficult for them to win in that seven-game series against Atlanta. And so only I have, um, thanks to their pitching being set up better for that seven-game set, I have the Braves. Um, defeating the Angels, I think it could – or, sorry, the Dodgers. The Dodgers, yep. I think it could probably take six or seven games, but I think with the pitching matchup, um, Atlanta will be better set up to, to handle it. Although I have the Dodgers as my one seed and the Braves as the two seed, 
I do have the Braves coming out on top also in this NLCS. I love the Braves. I think they're going to be better than the Dodgers here. Ronald Acuna Jr., one of my favorite players to watch. He's going to be an MVP candidate this season. He is very good at baseball, and he's going to hit his way. You were talking about the pitching, but I think that they're also the Braves are just going to have better hitting, and I agree with you that they have better pitching for a longer seven-game series than the Dodgers do, which is why I have the Braves going to the World Series to play against the Blue Jays. Lucas, give me your – you got Twins, you got Braves. Who do you have winning the World Series and why? Uh, I have the Minnesota Twins – winning the World Series this year. Um, I think a Minnesota-Atlanta World Series is going to be really exciting. You've got kind of a battle of, of young guys with Atlanta, um, a couple of veterans with Minnesota, guys like Josh Donaldson, um, Nelson Cruz. So who used to be on guys. Atlanta. What? Donaldson was on Atlanta for a few years. Yep. Yes. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it'll be a really exciting World Series, and I do have the Minnesota Twins coming out victorious um, and, and being crowned World Series champions at the end of the 2021 MLB season. I think it'll be a really exciting series. Um, and ultimately, I just think Minnesota is one of the most talented teams in the game, even though I had them as three seed um, out of the American League. Um, I think they'll be set up to succeed come playoff time with some of those veteran guys that just have the experience winning um, big games, whereas Atlanta is kind of young and, and hasn't really uh, fully clicked in the postseason yet. So I've got Minnesota. Okay, you said Atlanta's young. I have them facing off the Blue Jays, who are probably younger. So I got the young and the younger in the World Series. And no, I do not have the Blue Jays winning the World Series. I do have them getting there, but I got to go with the Braves. They've made it this far. They've been good for years. I think they should have won last year. They had the weapons to do it last year, but they just didn't play their best baseball, a short season COVID. So I do think in a full season, the Braves will end up being the best team. The Braves are going to be the 2021 world champions over the Toronto Blue Jays. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserves it all. That whole team deserves it all. They're a great team, and they've earned this. So, hey, Braves fans out there, this is your year. I'm riding with you guys. After you beat my Cubs in the playoffs, you're going to be my team the rest of the way. And Blue Jays fans, you made this far. As a very young team, don't worry, you'll be back. But I have the Atlanta Braves as the World Series champions. Now, I'm a National League guy. Lucas is an American League guy. I chose a National League team to win the World Series. Lucas chose an American League team to win the World Series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was our first video of baseball on this channel. Thank you again to Blake and Vish for letting us host it. And Lucas, do you have any last words you want to add? Uh, I was this close to taking Atlanta. We almost had the same World okay. Series champions. It was a tough pick, but I did go American League. Maybe it's because I'm an AL guy. Who knows? We'll see what happens, and we will be back. Don't worry. We're going to make baseball videos hopefully once, maybe twice a week for the season because Blake and Vish are going to work on football and basketball. Me and Lucas will do baseball. We're here for you baseball fans out there, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.